Hi and welcome to Wrong Way and this video is about the best Xiaomi N365 alternatives under $700. So let me tell you more about it. Wrong way. First up, I also wanted to let you know that I was testing each and every one of these devices so I sort of know what I'm talking about. This is also not a sponsored video, but you will see all the links in the description so you can find these vehicles easier. Also huge shout out to Bosmanati for suggesting me to make this video. Okay, so right up, let's start with the first candidate on the list, number five. is the Kugo M2 Pro. So if comfort is the most important thing to you in a scooter, the Kugo M2 Pro has got you covered. Oh my God, this sounds like a Watch Mojo video. Anyhow, it has suspension front and rear. It also has two tires to give you actually lots of comfort. This scooter handles bumps and has way less rattling than a M365 Pro. I also like the design of this scooter. It comes in two versions, black and silver, I suppose. It has a LCD screen, front lighting, rear lighting, quite spacious and comfy rubber deck. The motor is up in the front, it has 350 watts of power and in the rear we have a disc brake to make the stopping distance smaller. Naturally there's also a electronic brake. And it also features a really really nice and innovative folding design that has like no uh, rattles at all. It folds really easily and actually really fast, locks in place and it's easy to carry around and then unfold again. When it comes to cons, its range is sadly a bit smaller than the range of the M365 Pro, just around 20 kilometers, because the battery is actually 280 watt hours instead of the 470 watt hours that is in the M365 Pro. It is also a bit heavier, it weighs around 15.3 kilograms, so around about one kilogram heavier than the M365 Pro. And whilst on paper the power seems really similar to the M365 5 Pro, uh, the M365 Pro is actually faster. So in terms of hill climbing, in terms of acceleration, uh, especially a modded M365 Pro will outrun the M2 Pro. Last but not least, the M2 Pro is actually a lot cheaper than the M365 Pro, just shy of $450, sometimes also cheaper. So this was the first candidate, let's move on to number four. It's the SYL08 and a very similar board is the H2C board. So you might see it in different names. First of all, it's an electric mountain board. So you have your hands free, you just have a remote. And this remote also shows you the different riding modes and the battery state of the SYL08. It is also way more powerful than the M365 Pro because of the two 1650 watt motor in the rear. So a total of over 3000 watts of power. Top speed here should be anywhere around 36 kilometers an hour and in terms of acceleration it's also a bit better than the M365 Pro. All in all I also like the design of this board and come on boards are just a bit cooler to ride on than scooters. Maybe not more practical but definitely cooler. It also has 8 inch tires and because of the all in all design of this board you can also take it out on trails and have fun with it. Uh, basically the M365 Pro is just a bunch of rattling when you take it off the streets. Sadly the battery is again a bit smaller than the M365 Pro coming in at, at around 370 watt hours but the price is usually also cheaper, coming in at around $500. So this was candidate number four, let's move on to number three. And number three is a electric unicycle, the Inmotion V5F. 
actually a unicycle that I personally owned for quite a bit. And I gotta tell you that this unicycle has a lot going for it. First of all, it's a unicycle, so it's way more portable than a scooter. It's way smaller in the dimensions, like width, height and length. And it's actually also just a tiny bit lighter than the M365 Pro, coming in at 12 kilograms. So two kilograms lighter than the scooter. It also can take up way steeper hills at around 20 degrees of steepness. It has a way smaller turning circle. It has a trolley handle to carry it around when you are not on the unicycle. A lift sensor to easier carry it up and down a set of stairs, for example. A great benefit of the Inmotion V5F is also the 14-inch tire. So because the wheel is like bigger than the M365 Pro, it absorbs the bumps just so much better. And uh, this unicycle isn't scared of going onto a dirt path or just making a shortcut through grass because its off-road capabilities are way better than the M365 Pro. And again, the bigger tire makes the ride way more comfortable than the M365 Pro. Naturally, because of it being a unicycle, the learning curve is a bit steeper, but once you get the hang of it, it's awesome. The charging time is also way faster at only three hours from zero to 100%. In the Xiaomi, it's around five hours. And it also has a well visible battery indicator and a app where you can set several settings of the electric unicycle. The downside is that it has a smaller battery than the M365 Pro coming in at around 320 uh, watt hours, but the range should be anywhere between like 25 kilometers because the speed restriction is all also set to 25 kilometers an hour. Your two hands are free, so this is also a great benefit. The price is anywhere around 500 to 600 dollars depending on the deals. So this was candidate number three. Now let's move on to number two. And candidate number two is a scooter that actually a lot of people start off. It's the Ruima Mini 4 Pro. Naturally, an electric scooter. And this scooter has a lot going for it. Mainly the battery is a lot bigger than the M365 Pro. It has two models, 48 volt and 16 amp hours, or 48 volt and 13 uh, amp hours. So the total capacity of these two battery options is either 620 watt hours or 770 watt hours. The price difference between those two is anywhere between 100 and 150 dollars. The motor is also way more powerful at 500 watts nominal power, propelling you up to 45 kilometers per hour. That's fast in this price range. The acceleration is also much quicker than the M365 Pro and naturally the hill climbing abilities as well. It also has suspension front and rear and the rear tire is solid so it can never break. A thing that happens quite often on the M365 Pro if you don't keep an eye on the right pressure in the Xiaomi's tires. It also has decent lighting front and rear, although I wouldn't really ride with just the front lighting on. Probably I would add another light to the scooter in order to make night riding safer. But the rear taillights are really, really good. And actually, if you fold up the scooter, it's smaller in size than the M365 Pro because it folds with the front wheel and the handlebars fold as well. So it's actually more portable than the M365 Pro. I would even say that it's more portable than the M365 not pro. When it comes to downsides, it's a bit heavier at 17.5 kilograms, so it's a bit more load uh, to carry with. And though the rear tire is solid, and the good thing is that it might not break, it's actually not so good for rainy conditions. And it also just has a rear drum brake, although you can in install a front uh, drum brake separately. But just with the rear brake and the solid tire, it bre its braking distance is huge. And the tires are also a bit smaller at 8 inches instead of 8.5 inches. So maybe there's a bit more rattling on the Speedway Mini 4 Pro, but the bigger bumps are way better absorbed because of the suspension system. All in all, I think it's a great deal if you just want to have more performance and more range for around $700, depending on your 
battery version. And now let's move on to number one. What will be number one? And I thought about it for a bit and I came to the conclusion that if you are thinking about the M365 Pro, you really need something portable. And there is no other device that is as portable and as practical as the Gotway M10 III. Now, the Gotway M10 III comes in several options. There's a 325 watt hour version, 420 watt hour version, yes, 420, and a 525, as I remember correctly, or 518. Anyhow, the one that I will be suggesting in this video is the 67 volt and 420 naturally what our version because it comes in just shy of around six hundred dollars the m10 free has naturally all the benefits of a electric unicycle you have your hands free the poor performance is all in all and better the turning circle in this wheel is so small this is basically the turning circle of the gateway m10 free it has a 10 inch tire and its width is three inches uh, so it's a pretty wide wheel for a for for this uh, diameter and this small device can propel you up to 35 maybe even 40 kilometers an hour which is absolutely crazy the weight is just 10 kilograms so it's just a small like shopping bag and it's so small that you can put it into your backpack i guarantee it it's very agile it has a lift sensor to pick it up easier also a bit of rgb on the shell so it just looks a bit cooler and it also has app support where you where you can set different settings of this electric unicycle when it comes to downsides uh, the this wheel is a bit twitchy when you go above 30 kilometers an hour the wheel might just steer you off in one or the other direction you need to be aware of that but uh, when you get the hang of it it's really really cool and because the motor is smaller and all in all the wheel is smaller and the battery uh, is 420 watt hours so just a bit smaller than the m365 pro you can overpower the wheel when braking hard or when accelerating hard it's also a thing you need to keep in mind when riding the galway m103 it doesn't come with a trolley handle but you can buy it later on alibaba or aliexpress it also has a light in the front which is way more powerful than the m365 pro and all in all the riding experience is just it's really cool. It's it's the most portable thing that you can ride nowadays and that is actually usable and has a bigger range than most of the electric skateboards because the battery here again is quite big uh, when it comes to like small portable electric vehicles at 420 watt hours. It's actually bigger than the battery on the one wheel XR. And if you're still here, I hope you found this uh, video, this list helpful. Leave a like on the video, subscribe to see more content like this. I'll see you in the next video. See you soon.